we are back. Now, like the absent-minded person that I am, I freed the dragon before I started recording. So I apologize for that. I, uh, I usually uh, keep those gems there, so I like to see the dragon head open. Uh, it sounds kind of silly, but I've been doing it since I was little. Well, yeah, I am sorry for not starting the recording before, but, uh, I guess to make up for it, I can tell you who that dragon was. It was Magnus from Peacekeeper's World. So, let's see what we have here. Ooh, now we can fly. Without the time limit. Or without pesky. Oh, wait. Oh. I see a thief there. That's right, run. No, oh, I got a run in the face. Oh. <laughs> okay, now, um. Here's something else I thought was kind of weird. Book. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but someone who actually still has that manual, tell me in the comments if this is true. But uh, I think, oh, let's see if I can get in with this thing. I think in the book they had this thief listed as a black thief. Ah, I got him. Yeah, he's clearly not dressed in black. And something else, uh, the red thief from Treetop. See, I'm. Yeah, like I said, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone who actually still has the manual, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the red thief was listed as the purple thief. I don't know why that is, he was clearly red, and this one is clearly not dressed in black. Yeah, like I said, someone, anyone out there that actually still has that book, tell me in the comments if that's right. <laughs> Got him. I mean, this music uh, sounds like the Nasty Nord music, only I guess a little more... Happy? I don't know. But here we have a really, really long flight. Let's see how long it takes me to get this guy. You remember in the last video I said that Nasty North went down in just two hits? But another thing I thought that was kind of weird was the fact that he gave us gems. Because if you remember in the first cutscene, the reporter said that he could turn gems into warriors, and, you know, if that's what the deal was with the bad nicks all throughout the game, then what the heck was Nasty Nork supposed to be? Because he gave us gems, too. Oh, I got him, yes. Now, that, didn't, that didn't take long at all, really. It usually takes me forever. Okay, let's come up here. I have to say, Stuart Copeland did a really good job with his music. The stuff from Ripto's Rage, that's my favorite. Let's see, uh, let's open the rest of these things. But yeah, I really like the music in this game. And as for Ripto's Rage, uh, you can expect that to be my next LP. I don't know if I'll do uh, the third one. I've heard that some people thought Year of the Dragon was the best in the trilogy, but I have to say, uh, Ripto's Rage was my favorite. But that's just me. I can understand why people like the third one better. But my problem is the other characters. I'm probably going to get some crap for that, but I can't help it. I prefer to just stick to the original character. 
But I did think that was creative, you know, especially when you get to play as Sparks. But yeah, I might do an LP of that, but for now, you can just expect Ripto. Wow, look at that picture. You think she's so elegant. Yeah, he's dead now. He was taken down by a puny dragon. I should really stop calling Spiral puny. It sounds like I'm insulting him or something. I really don't want to insult him. It's my favorite game when I was little. But Ripto Rage was. And that is it. Yay, and Spyro is happy! He did a flip! Yeah, 2000, I believe, is the highest value in the game. I think, uh... I think everything else was pretty much like 500. That's, that's the highest it goes. And here we're going to return home. Now we have a cutscene. Spyro the Dragon! You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty... In spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! Yes, yeah, Spyro. You have to save the world again. Only this time from Ripto. No more nasty Nork. He's ancient history, just as he told Magnus. Or so we thought. Because Nasty appears in Hero's Tale. Yeah, from what I've heard, I don't think too many people like that one, but I was such a big fan of Spyro, I just had to get it. And, uh, it's it's a fun game, but it's it's nothing compared to you know the original stuff. Same with Enter the Dragonfly. It's like, you have fun with these later ones, but when you compare them to the old stuff, well, you really can compare them because the old stuff is so much better. But, oh well. So now we have the credits, and like I said, it seems like in Sony I really like the music for Mr. Bog because they uh, replay it for the credits. Yeah, they play the credits twice, but I didn't play it in the last video because I figured out just in the entire LP with it. And another thing, um, it seemed like they liked the music for High Caves too because they repeat that and, uh, what's it? Treetops. Actually, they repeat a lot of the uh, music. It's just they have remixed versions for the, you know, other portals. <laughs> so yeah, you can expect Ripto's Rage after this. But I don't know what I'll do when I'm finished with Spiral. Sheep were harmed, huh? Oh yeah, sure, aside from the sheep that I killed throughout the entire game. Yeah, aside from them, no sheep were harmed. And that is it for Spiral. I hope you enjoyed this LP. I will see you next time. Next time, Ripto's Rage.